the graphics tab of the options dialog box. Let's go up to our application menu, go to options. In the options, we're going to go to graphics tab. Uh, in the top section, we have uh, basically a section which we can improve our performance of our graphic card. Uh, but mine is not detected, so I can't do a whole lot with that. Um, that's what you get for having a cheap laptop. Right? The next section is the graphics mode. We can use hardware acceleration uh, if we have direct 3D. Many of you will have that, and I recommend that you use it uh, if you're capable of using direct 3D, depending on your graphics card capabilities. Um, next is you should use uh, optimized view navigation. So when you're switching between views, like from floor, floor plan level one to our east elevation, for example, that will create a quicker switching back and forth if you use this. Use anti-aliasing. Aliasing is when you get the stair-stepping effect of pixels. Uh, so you have a pixel that's a square and it's trying to make a diagonal line. To make a diagonal line it does like a stair-stepping effect. And to make use anti-aliasing is for the graphics card to try to fill that in to make a smoother looking line. Uh, this will tax your graphics card and slow down your uh, screen generation uh, if you do it. So if it looks fine without it, don't use it. But if you're starting to look like you get the jaggies of a diagonal line, then you need to use it. Uh, the colors. Um, the selection, when we select some, we're using an red, green, blue. Uh, red is 0, green is 59, and blue is 189 on a 255 scale from 0 to 255. Our pre-selection, you know, when we hover over it, same color. Uh, the alert gives us this orange, uh, so it's a little bit more red, a little bit green, and no blue. Now, I kind of like to leave these alone, but you might want to change the pre-selection to just another slightly color different than this blue. So there, maybe it's a little uh, lighter blue, perhaps, uh, if you want to make a choice and it's also semi-transparent so we can see through it that's a good thing to help us see through things temporary dimensions when we're putting in dimensions temporary it's telling you oh, it's eight nine or ten feet uh, we can control that size and these are just numbers they're hard to to figure out based on just the numbers but you know the bigger the number the bigger the text and the background is transparent or opaque i like transparent because we can see through things so uh, the graphics tab for the options helps us control the various things about our graphics and we'll say okay to set that.